If you are sitting on an airplane or a train or a bus, there is a good chance that the person who is sitting next to you did not pay the same price for their seat as you did. This is something that is known in operations research as yield management. And yield management is used to maximize the yield subject to a demand which is unknown and when the demand is is low then the uh, the price will be cut to increase demand and if demand is high then the price can be kept high. There is a second thing that corporations use in order to maximize their yield and that is known as overbooking and that's going to be the topic of this example. An airplane has 100 seats. The airline overbooks a particular flight on this airplane and by overbooking that means sells more tickets than are available seats in order to maximize their profit. Assume that each ticket holder's decision to show up for a flight is an independent Bernoulli trial with a probability of showing up for a flight of 0.92. Now that independence assumption does not apply in all situations. For example, if the weather is bad, then the probability of people showing up will go down and all of them will go down together. Likewise, if there is a family, those family members will not make independent trials. They will probably show up as a group. So we are going to use the independence assumption here to make the mathematics a little bit easier. If you were working for an airline, you would certainly have a more complicated probability model than the one that's going to be described here. The airline profit is $10 for each seat sold and the airline loses $40 for each bumped passengers. And we want to know what is the expected profit if 103 seats are sold. In this particular case, the random variable x is going to denote the number of passengers that will show up for a flight. And if you do sell 103 tickets, then each one of those passengers who purchased a ticket is a Bernoulli trial. They will either show up for the flight or they won't and they do so with probability 0.92. So the actual number that shows up is going to be binomial with parameters 103 and 0.92. That corresponds to a probability mass function of n choose x times p to the x, 1 minus p to the n minus x, and that's for x equals 0 through 103. Now the most interesting cases here turn out to be x equals 101, 102, and 103 because those are the cases in which we have to bump somebody off of the flight and we incur this $40 penalty. The profit that is generated from selling 103 tickets for the flight is 103 times $10 or $1,030. So we start with that as a base and then we look at the probabilities of having to bump customers. The probability that 101 people will show up for the flight is the probability x equals 101. This is calculated by plugging 101 into the probability mass function and that'll be 103 choose 101 times 0.92 to the 101 times 0.08 squared and this works out to 0 0.007399. Not very likely. This could be calculated in R with the D binome function using arguments 101, 103, and 0.92. So not very likely that that 101 will show up. When we do this same calculation but this time with 102, you'll see that it is even less likely that 102 people will show up. And finally, when x is equal to 103, it is extremely unlikely that uh, all 103 people who purchase the tickets will actually show up. Here is some R code which will calculate the expected profit and by the way, this is ignoring customer ill will. 
airlines have to be ca careful uh, when they when they overbook in this fashion. If people are flying in, for example, to the Super Bowl, you don't want to have overbooking because people will be very annoyed um, if they're if they're headed to a, a football game or, or some other event which is pretty popular. So here's the R code. The expected profit will be. We start with our 1,030 out front here. There is a $40 loss and here is the probability of that $40 loss which is this quantity right here and there will be an $80 loss if 102 people show up and here is its probability and there it is calculated and finally there will be a $120 loss with this particular probability here and here is the d binome in R to calculate that value and it turns out you will have an expected profit of one thousand and twenty nine dollars and fifty five cents so the thinking here is here is our a thousand and thirty expected profit it goes down by forty five cents to a thousand and twenty nine fifty five when you overbook in that fashion and so this all assumed that we sold 103 tickets. But you can do this same exact analysis for selling 104 tickets or 105 tickets, etc., and you will get this graph right here. So if you look at 103 tickets, you have a height right here of $1,029.55. If instead you sold 104 tickets, you would now have an expected profit of 1,040, but there is just a, still a very small loss here because you won't have problems in terms of people not showing up. So then you say, all right, I'll sell 105 tickets. Well, at 105 tickets, your expected profit is 1050 but now you get you can see on the graph here there's a fairly significant loss that is associated with um, people not showing up and the same is true for 106 and 107 at 107 you get the maximum value here and so from the corporation's perspective they would want to sell 107 tickets to maximize their expected profit.